Hello Mallards! It is Thursday. It is late in the evening. You can tell because my star lights are on and uh, creating all of these beautiful, very artistic dots all across my face. Um, <clears throat> I had hoped to be going to a pool party today, but sadly that got canceled. So instead I worked all of this morning and then I watched some episodes of Angel with Ginger. So we are in season five of the show. We watched episodes three, four, and five today. And here are uh, my thoughts. First off, Angel has taken over Wolfram and Hart, the evil law firm. And it seems that uh, the more time they spend there, the more heartless Angel gets. Because in these episodes, he turned a man into a werewolf and then turned him over to a group that's going to literally eat him. The guy was bad like evil and had tried to do the exact same thing to an innocent girl. So like, I'm not necessarily saying Angel was bad. Like, I don't know, sometimes I uh, applaud the questionable people. And then he uh, locked up this ghost in stasis where he will be unable to move, unable to like do anything except stare for all eternity. And that man was also a mass murderer. So like it is like justice, but it's just harsher justice than Angel has done thus far. And I think it's an interesting progression of the character. And we'll see how it shapes up for the rest of the whole season. Uh, these episodes also featured some Spike uh, and there's a whole Spike ghost storyline happening. And I love James Marston. Uh, which means that I love Spike. So it's been really enjoyable and fun to watch his little storyline develop. He's an interesting character. I like his sass levels. Uh, and then there was a Halloween party episode, which was absolutely wild, where Lauren, who's the demon who can uh, read people's futures by listening to them sing, had had his sleep removed because that's a thing that Wolfram and Hart can do. I swear to you that Wolfram and Hart can just do absolutely wild things. They were like, oh, I don't know. What do you think would be really funny? And someone was like, I wonder if you could just remove your sleep. You notice you didn't sleep anymore. Just like take it away. Just remove it from your body. I think Wolfram and Hart could do that. You know what else Wolfram and Hart could do? They could just Matrix style put the entire history of law into somebody's brain. I think they could totally do that too. So a lot of wild stuff has been happening. But Lauren got his sleep removed, and the end result of that is that he sort of Jekyll and hyde uh, except created a manifestation of his, like, I guess, thoughts and things he would normally work through when he slept, who was going around and killing people at the Halloween party, which seems like a bad deal. But when you work for Wolfram and Hart, and most of the people attending your Halloween party are evil demons, they really love a bloodbath and so it ended up working out all right but it was a really funny episode and really kind of sad because Lauren is one of my favorite characters and it's a bummer to see him suffering because he's just a sweet guy but it was really funny that essentially his empathy went out of control to such the way that instead of like reading people's futures he was telling people their futures so it was like you really need to get drunk and they immediately got drunk without drinking anything and he was like, Angel, you need to get laid. And it happened. And he told uh, Gunn to mark his territory. <laughs> and so then Gunn just was peeing on things, which was also hilarious. I feel like holiday specials like Halloween episodes are always really enjoyable because they don't feel the need to follow any of the other rules and they just have fun. And I appreciate that about this show. So I had a great time watching Angel and we're going to eventually finish the whole series so that I will have watched all of Buffy and all of Angel. And we're going to do that mostly because Ginger wants to watch other things with me. Uh, but on that same vein, I did convince her to watch Our Flag Means Death. So we had a considerable length of time spent talking about that in between watching our episodes. So I'm still firmly on the Our Flag Means Death train and probably will be for a while. But right now I am on the go to bed train because I got a busy day tomorrow. I'll see you then.